Hey guys, Woods Farm here, Project 222. Just back out in the garage working on the Scout car. Today we're going to be patterning out the rear fenders and we're also going to start doing some patterning on other parts of the vehicle. So stick around and check it out. Okay guys, today we're finally going to get around to patterning out the uh, rear fenders but also we're gonna be doing some patterning of other parts of the vehicle. Uh, I've been thinking about it over the last couple of days and I think what I wanna do is pattern out pretty much the entirety of all the stuff we need to finish and that way I can take the patterns, go to my uh, steel supply and figure out uh, how much steel I'm gonna to need to order to finish the project. Okay, we'll go over and I'll show you the uh, stuff we're gonna pattern out in this video. Of course, there's the rear fenders. Uh, now that we have the engine deck uh, completed, I will be able to figure out how these are going to get fabricated. I've got some jigs, and we're going to try to get them to line up with the front fenders and uh, just figure that out. Also, I'm going to pattern out this uh, rear flip-down hatch for the engine deck. I think I'll actually start with that. Pretty easy and straightforward. Probably do that before I actually work on the fenders. So getting a look at the top of the vehicle, um, there's that front panel there you can see with the curve. Um, that panel extends back on each side and near the back here, um, this part is partially mesh or grating just to allow airflow. So I'm gonna figure out how that works and uh, what kind of materials we're gonna need for that. I've got the doors to pattern out and I do have materials set aside for the doors and the hatches, but I wanna just double check all these patterns and make sure I have enough material. And then the last thing is I might actually start patterning out the turret, which is pretty exciting. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna to have to buy some material for the turret. So I think I might play around with the patterning of that and then it'll give me an idea of how much material I'm actually gonna to have to purchase. So we got our work cut out for us. I'm gonna be cutting a lot of cardboard today. I'm gonna to be measuring and doing a lot of design, looking at the diagrams and the pictures and figuring out exactly how everything's gonna work. Um, those rear fenders, hopefully they're not as hard as the front fenders, um, but let's grab some cardboard, uh, let's get the measuring tape out and we'll get started.
Okay guys, I've got the rear fender done on the driver's side. It took way longer than it should have. Really difficult getting everything lined up just right. Um, there's not a lot of reference points, I'm kind of using the center of the wheel hub, measuring up and then trying to get it to level out with the, uh, and match the front fender was pretty uh, difficult. But I've got something that I'm pretty happy with at this point. I'm not gonna show you the process of uh, patterning out the passenger side fender. It's a lot of repetition of what you've already seen. We are gonna move on to patterning out some other components, uh, specifically the rear engine deck, uh, the, the back part that flips down. I'm gonna pattern that out, and then I'm gonna move on to some of the components on the top deck, uh, kind of the roof area. We're gonna finish that, pattern that out. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna get started on this rear uh, cover. Uh, this thing folds down, uh, so there's gonna be like a hinge set up, but I'm just gonna pattern out the plates for now. Um, I believe it's there's two side sections, a back piece, and I think there's a small little top plate. So we'll work on that next. And after we get that done, I'm gonna to try to work on some of this, uh, patterning out this top area here. There's kind of some side plates and then there's some plates here around the top of the engine. Some of this is a grate to allow air to flow in. guys as you can see we got a ton of work done today um, on patterning i've got that rear hatch for the engine area that folds down that's patterned out I've got covers for the engine deck hatches and we started working on the roof area there's kind of a section of mesh and then at the very back there's a solid plate i believe that bolts off for servicing uh, we will have to fabricate some cross pieces uh, to kind of support the mesh and also there's going to be a ring that kind of goes around that circle area just to give it some uh, support. So that's going to be happening in a later video. 
Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to work on patterning out the turret and maybe start doing some fabricating on things like the rear fenders. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Um, it was a long day doing all the patterning. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to start patterning out that uh, the turret. Um, again, I'm going to do that now because I want to know how much material we're going to have to order to finish the project. Uh, might also start working on the actual fabrication of the rear fenders. So that'll be coming up in the next couple of videos. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.